Hello everyone, Mr. Terminal here. In this video, we are deploying WordPress server, which is on Ubuntu 20.04, along with a few other things on AWS Cloud. So what we are going to start first is we are going to use the marketplace version of it. This just makes a whole process very, very simple. So when you're installing this, we got a couple of things and Let's start with what we have in the product overview. You would get that. Of course, our WordPress service is there. It's on Ubuntu 20.04. We, along with the Apache web server, let's encrypt. MariaDB is there, ProFTPD and Webmin. All of this gets combined to give you all the end product and you don't have to worry about things. Yes, so just continue to subscribe if you're doing this first time, it will take a while and then you can just continue with the configuration. This is perfectly fine. Continue to launch and instead of launch from website, you can just launch through EC2. Of course, you would get an options to pick whatever you want this is just a demo so we are going with very limited stuff and right the security group is already configured you don't have to worry about a thing ssh ports http scps and custom dcb ports 21 10,000, and these what these do we will learn soon point is you don't have to worry about it and you can just review and launch and yeah launch and the key pair is what you're going to use to log in so let's create a new pair rsa is fine for wordpress download key pair and yeah launch instances we can directly go to view instances it will take a time before it's in running state great our instance is running so once it's running what we want to do is connect to it so we can configure first of all our mysql and many other things so we are going to just connect it and instance connect is perfectly fine for our use cases you can use the client as well any client to connect ssh and yeah once we are into the machine we want to start configuring our MySQL. The command for that is, these commands are mentioned in the article shared in the description. This and every command and the entire procedure is clearly mentioned step by step. So please to take a note of that. You don't have to look and copy this. Sudo MySQL secure installation. Do that just go for none and here you can go with yes set password re-enter it and it should be good to go mm. Just say yes to all of this. Reload previous tables, yes. And that's it, your MariaDB sort of set up now. Now we want to create a MySQL database for the WordPress that we're going to use. So we are already creating a MySQL database for this. Just a side note, if you receive an error message when copying and pasting the commands, it will be to do with the quotations that, that is coming because of those not being recognized. The quotations are not being recognized because the format changes when 
copying from the web page into your terminal. So you have to manually retype the codes. Just a note if you're following the article and doing this. So step one is let's just start with all right, let me clear the screen first. Let's kick for higher start the MySQL. Once we are in MySQL, we are going to create a database. And we're going to call it WordPress DB. We're going to create a user. Let's call him WordPress user at localhost. Identified by your password. Let's just go with my password. That's the end of the command. I missed a quotation mark here. And user is created. We want to give the WordPress user, this user we created, full permissions on the WordPress database. So, yeah, send the command for that. Grant all privileges on which database? Our database that we created. WordPress DB. So the WordPress user was at a host. And yeah, that should do that. Save the changes we have made and exit the Mario DB, right? Flush privileges. Exit. So MySQL is configured inside Mario DB. Next we wanna do what we wanna do is configure the Apache web server. Very essential of course. Apache has been installed and it's what we'll be hosting the website on. We need to change the configuration file and enter the details according to our needs. And yeah, that should do it. So step one for doing that is we want to update the wordpress.configuration file with the domain name. It's located here as you can use whatever editor you prefer and or whatever notepad not notepad Once you're in the file, you need to find the server name and server alias right here. Now we are going to use uh, the domain. Here we want to use our domain, whatever it is. I don't have a domain at the moment right now, so I'm going to use my IP address, right? The public IP address of my instance. Yep, so I have added my public IP address. You need to add your domain here. Once that's done, yes, you can save the file and exit. And then you want to enable the site in Apache. For that, there are again commands that you need to enter. We will reload Apache after rendering these commands all together. 
Okay, now we can do that. And yeah, that configures that. We want to do what we want to do next is give Apache user an ownership of WordPress directory. So our classic ch own command. This is a WordPress directory. Great, now we are ready to start the WordPress installation. There are two ways to do this using the site's IP address or the site's domain name. Of course, we are going to, I'm going to use the IP address. So once you enter your public IP address or your domain, whatever the case was, you will see the WordPress setup and you can just do next and select the option for the unnecessary right. And here we need to enter the details that we know. That was our DB, that's our user, password we can just keep, password local host and yeah, table prefix word. WP, perfect, submit. All right, just my password. Run the installation and yeah, it can be whatever we want. So I'm just keeping the testing, WordPress, site title, random. Username, you can pick whatever you want. It's not the same one. I'm picking the same one. Password they provide to you, copied somewhere. I just copied it here for time P. And email, whatever it is that you prefer. And after that, you can just go with install WordPress. Let's do that. Here we get a page saying success. WordPress has been installed. Thank you and enjoy. So, yeah. That's it, and we're going to log in. We no. It's the one that we just copied. Login. And that's it. You are now completely functional WordPress with you. That's the installation bit for and WordPress and how to configure configuration file of WordPress and you will have this as an end result. Next you want to look into is using Webmin to manage server. Of course this came into the package so you don't have to install it. It is at the same located at your Tobin or pass her public IP address at port 10,000. It's definitely open. You don't have to start anything and just go on the port 10,000 and you would see it. So this is used to manage your server. And username password is that of the server, the instance you're running on. Just a quick tutorial for those who don't know how to add a user is with sudo privileges is you're just going to add it to group sudo and we're just going to call the user webmin and we're going to provide a password for this guy, right? And that's it. And you can use this user to log in now. And that should work perfectly fine. With Webmin, you can set up the FTP users using Pro FTT PD. So it's clearly visible inside the servers drop down menu. Here 
you will not see the option at first. What you want to do is refresh modules. This will take a while. Once you refresh the modules, under servers you would find Pro FTPD server. Let's go to that. And here we want to set up FTP directory. So let's just go to the files and directories. And yup. Here instead of default, our login directory is our WordPress directory. And here you can pick none, everything is fine, default is fine. Default is fine again, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Save it. Next you wanna do what you wanna do is create FTP users and you'll find this under system. And the system, there is a user and group options. Go to that. And here you will find the option of create a new user. And we can create any sample one. Let's call him John. User ID. Perfect. Real name. No. John. shell slash bin slash sh is perfect and you can pick a password instead of no login and give him the password whatever he needs yeah this this most of it and you can go ahead and create the user Now our user is created. There he is, John. We want to give this user permission to write to the WordPress directory, which is of course slash VR slash WLW and WordPress one, the one we just configured. What we wanna go, what we wanna do is go back to our SSH terminal and run some commands. Here what you want to do is again use password and here the user is of course John now and we give him access to the directory privileges and that's it you're done here with that you should now be able to use an FTP client and connect to your server and see the WordPress directory perfectly fine yep that's pretty much it for this video if you have any questions and doubts please feel free to comment and we will reach out to you and let you know if this video helped you like and subscribe thanks for watching